I found the craziest, most hidden Minecraft secrets on the whole internet. But who knows how many of them are just fake clickbait. So today, we're testing them to see if they're true. Watch until the end as you will be shocked at what Minecraft has to hide. So what exactly is this secret Minecraft mechanic? Something to do with rails, I suppose? If you make a closed circuit of rails so it goes in a loop and stand in the middle of it, or there are mobs that aggravate other mobs, what happens? Such as zombies, they can't come inside. They are unable to step over the rails. Wait, really? Zombies can't walk over rails? That makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is clickbait because if this secret was real, I'm certain I would have known about it before now. If you put a bunch of rails down, you can walk over them. Not like they're fence blocks or anything. And if you get non-hostile mobs, such as a sheep, you guys can see. Okay, Mr. Sheep, can you demonstrate for me? Please walk across the rail. Any moment today would be good. All right, you know what? I'm gonna stand on this side of the rail. Okay, look, I've got the weight. Now follow me across the rail. Do neutral mobs not cross rails either? Okay, cross the rail. Wait, look, it walks around the rail. Even neutral mobs don't cross rails. Okay, the, the TikTok there said that hostile mobs don't cross rails, but I think all mobs don't cross rails. Let's go ahead and test out what they were doing here, guys. Okay, so they had a villager and a boat so that the villager couldn't escape here. Then they had rails going all around our villager just like this. And if we go ahead and set the time to midnight and spawn in a bunch of zombies, they should attack the villager. Look, they're trying to kill the villager here, guys. But the villager's not having any of it. He is protected by this invisible force field. Logic makes no sense. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this zombie managed to glitch into the boat. I don't think that counts because the zombie didn't actually stand on the rails there, he managed to glitch through. Maybe this isn't true, guys. I'm, I'm still confused. Is this secret real or clickbait? Okay, you know what? I don't even need to put him in a boat. Wait a minute, that zombie just walked across the rail. Hold up. These zombies are walking past the rails. I'm really confused right now, guys. It's like they try to avoid walking across the rails, but sometimes the game glitches out and they do walk across them. Try this again. Zombies all around. See, they walk around the rails, guys. Look at them. They can't cross the rails until... Oh, I see what happens. They can't cross the rails, but because I've spawned so many of them, they're actually knocking each other across the rails, but they won't walk across the rails if they have a choice. Okay, so this Minecraft secret is true, but if you have enough mobs, they will push each other across the rails. Welcome to Minecraft's unknown fact file. What is going Today on right we'll be now? talking about the ant block. In ant the 20W14 Infinity Snapshot, what? if you wrote the word ant into a book and then threw it into the nether portal, huh? you'd be teleported this to the ant to be dimension. Clickbait. This what? dimension is a plain world no, with nothing this has to but be a concrete floor. After further exploration, you would find that? this really glitched block called the ant block, huh? and above it, a sign with the word patience no, on that's it. Fake. This block that has would leave to be a black fake. trail underneath it while it just teleports everywhere. This the so ant strange. block is based off a mathematical Turing machine. Wait, it uses a mathematical ant. function? No, I'm not going to explain Have it in person Maybe it now. is real, but or this doesn't look like Minecraft. My Have a look in the bottom left there, guys. I'm on 20W14 Infinite, the snapshot. And let's give this a go. I'm going to create a world. So we spawn into the world here. We need to make a nether portal here, guys. Book and quill. Apparently writing just ant is all it takes. Just like that. Light it up. And then all we're supposed to do is open up a book, write ant in it, hit done, and chuck it in here. Yo, the nether portal just changed color just like in the video. There's no way this is real. This has to be clickbait. I need to know now. Into the nether portal. Into the nether What? The ant dimension is real. It's a real dimension in Minecraft, or at least in this version. I was certain this had to be clickbait, and apparently there's an ant block somewhere in this dimension. He said you had to go searching for it, guys, but I don't know how far I have to search in order to find this ant block. Guys, wait, look. That's it. That, that is the ant block. Holy moly, it's real and it's just sporadic. It's not going to fast block. Look at it go. Blah, 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 blah. I, what is it doing? Apparently a mathematical function. The sign that says patience is not anywhere to be seen. But considering all of this was real so far, I would be so far to believe that that sign does exist. It just only occurs on some of them. But this block is real. This dimension is real. And it is absolutely broken. What a strange Minecraft secret. Silk Touch Shears do not take any damage from mining the following blocks. Wait, really? You can mine wool, dead bushes, sand, 
grass blocks, pods of glass, and ice, and you're telling me my shears won't get damaged whatsoever? But I can't even see the damage on the shears, guys. How do we know this is real? Now, it might be easy just to call this clickbait because it doesn't make any sense, but my instinct somewhere deep inside me is a voice telling me that this will actually work. Enchant our shears with silk touch. And now if we go ahead, we can test this out with wool and dirt. Supposedly, we can dig up these blocks. I've switched into survival mode with no issues. Okay, here we go. It took damage. What? Guys, look at my shears right there. The shears took damage when I dug up the wall. Okay, it'd be easy to say that it just must be clickbait. But I'm still, I still feel as if this worked. Maybe I'm just going crazy? Guys, look at this. I'm not going crazy. I checked the video again to see maybe it was Bedrock Edition. But then I noticed, look at the textures. These are the old Minecraft textures. So maybe this did work, just not in the newest version. Maybe it was an old version. I need to test. I told you, I told you guys. I don't have to expose these guys for clickbaiting. Well, they kind of did. But at the same time, they just forgot to tell us what version that this secret actually existed. So here's my silk touch shears. I switch into survival mode. I dig them up and look at that. The shears are taking absolutely no damage. Boom! Secret proven. Okay, what secret are we uncovering next? Okay, so you go into a village blacksmith. Come round to where... Wait, you take the pressure plate off the oak fence and then what? Put it next to the chest and... <gasps> Wait, what? There's the secret room, and look at the loot, guys! There is diamonds down there? I'm gonna look like an absolute noob if all of you guys know this is real, and I just had no idea this existed, because I've never heard of this before. Okay, so into the village blacksmith. You dig up the pressure plate on the table here, guys. Put it next to this chest, and stand on it! It's clickbait. It's clickbait. Look, I'll double check. I switched in creative mode. There's nothing down here. There's nothing down here! If taking out this whole village house is what I have to do to prove that there is nothing down here, watch this. Okay, there we go. Set air. There's nothing! It is a, it is a lie! It was clickbaiting us! Alright, they are not getting away with this! I'm gonna expose exactly how they did this. Wanna know how they did this? Well, I'll show you guys. Wait, look at this. This is the house. Oh, wow! They picked up a pressure plate, and then they were like, Oh, let me just put it on this block, and oh! Oh, wow! Look at this secret room with this guy! And this armor stand, and all oh, this loot! Do you know why? They pre-built it before the video, guys. Basically, they have this redstone dust, which activates a piston of pulling the block out from underneath, and allowing us to fall down into the ground. It's just simple. Simple redstone. Absolute clickbaiters. Did you know you can place items on your head with one simple command? No, I didn't. So you do what? slash replace item. Okay. NT at P armor dot head Minecraft and then whatever item like an and Wait, or Wait, anything? First I thought you could only put helmets on your head. What's really cool is you can put like what? a bone in your mouth and you're <laughs> holding so it cool. in your mouth. The next one is stained glass or any glass in general. It makes you look like a ah, spaceman. That's next an one astronaut. is an anvil. Oh my god. It gives you kind of a bit of a chin as well. And the next Yo, one is wait, what a else is banner. So I guess you could use this in like <laughs> mini games and stuff. And lastly, <laughs> Apparently, just by giving ourselves a command block and getting a button, we're able to put any item whatsoever in the whole game on our heads using, what was the command? I think it was replace item and then entity at p armor dot head and then you just type in the item you want. I really liked the glass here, guys. Let's try putting on glass. If I do that and hit enter. Ah, oh, look at this. Ew, I streamed the astronaut. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for EY kind. <laughs> Yo, it actually shows the glass on my head, but does that mean I could just... See, look, if I try and put the glass back on my head, it doesn't work. What else can I put on my head? He had a bone. That looks really cool. I want to try that. <laughs> I'm a caveman. Who got you got? Who got you got? Wait a minute. I could be, I could be a unicorn. I could be a unicorn. <laughs> no! No! I'm magical unicorn! You cannot fly! I got a little bit carried away in the act there, guys. Oops! <laughs> okay, what do we got here? What? 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 This is an actual thing in Minecraft. You can get vertical rails in Minecraft. Now, this is a secret I had no idea existed. So, we're putting a villager in the minecart. So, it doesn't work. Oh, no! Oh, no, it does work! Okay, the question now. Does it work with a player here, guys? This is the question. Can we use vertical rails in Minecraft? Okay, it gets a little stuck there. You have to give it a push, jump it. That didn't quite work there, guys. I want to see whether we can get this secret to work. See, it goes down, but not always. A rail on top, and then a minecart. Break that out. What? That is a super speed rail. Yo, now that is a Minecraft secret. Now, one really disappointing thing about that video is it didn't actually show me how to do this. Like, uh, how exactly? I know you can get diagonal like that, but the minute I destroyed that, there is no way for me to actually get, like, another diagonal on top of this. You can't place rails on top of rails. However, they did have that redstone thing down the bottom. It used, uh, sticky pistons and redstone repeaters 
Redstone Dust, and Levers. I don't exactly know what it did, but it's certainly worth a shot here, guys. So it went in like this. We have redstone repeaters, redstone like this, and then we had a lever here and a lever here, a piston there, a piston here, and a piston here. I don't know what this does. If I hit this lever, they all activate here, guys. So maybe if we put the rail here and then get it to go up, and we hit this rail, that pushes it up, pushes it down. That breaks the center rail. What? Get, 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 I did it! Okay, we've got one rail, so now we just need to go the other direction. So it was working. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I... Slowly. Okay, there he is. Okay, just like in the video, we got him stuck, and now we just need to give him a slight nudge. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Goodbye. We need you to go. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Villager. You are free! I want to try this with myself. Okay, so we'll go off to the side here, guys. Okay, so it does get stuck here. You got to jump out and give it a little nudge, and then... Ah! <laughs> Cool. You can now go ahead and make your very own vertical rails with this vertical rails secret. Secret crafting in Minecraft? What can you craft? A leather helmet? I know you can make that. Wait, a saddle? No. Nah. Clickbait, 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 clickbait. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Okay, and you can make gold horse armor. Sure you can. Okay, what is this? You can make... Uh, no. You cannot craft saddles in Minecraft and you cannot craft horse armor. It's fake. I already know this is fake because Microsoft and Mojang have been saying for years they were never going to add a crafting recipe for saddles or horse armor that would take away from the challenge of the game. You guys can see if I go ahead and search saddle, it doesn't exist here in the recipe book. And if I go horse armor, all you can make is leather horse armor like this. You cannot make the gold or the diamond horse armor. What do they even do? They put iron like that. See, no saddle, guys. It's not real at all. And do the horse armor recipe that they had. Oh, there we go. No horse armor. Not real clickbait. But how do they clickbait us? Well, I'm going to expose them right now. So how did they clickbait us? Well, I put down a crafting table and was like, oh, yeah, let's just make a crafting recipe that uh, has never been in the game. And went pop, 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 and boom, saddle. You're probably wondering how did I do that. And you're probably also going to wonder how in the world I made myself some golden horse armor. Well, I used a data pack, guys. Basically, a data pack is a, it's like a resource pack, but it changes the code of the game. It's like an add-on or a mod, kind of. Uh, and basically, they just added in this crafting recipe through this data pack. Complete another clickbait. What exactly is happening in this TikTok? We got an evoker and some blue and red sheep. Uh-huh. What am I looking- Wait! Did that blue sheep just turn red because of the evoker? This might be one of the strangest secrets in Minecraft. I don't know why this exists, but I think it might have been a reference to another video game. We got an evoker. We got a sheep. If we dive blue, he puts his arms up and he turns him red! What? Why? What in the world? Look. Okay, wait. Oh, I died that one red. That was my mistake. Look at this. He turns the blue sheep red. It's like the evoker has a death wish in order to convert blue sheep to red sheep. His sheepest, guys. How dare you, Mr. Evoker? There is a secret block hidden in Minecraft creative menu. Do you see it? I, I really don't. There's a bunch of slabs here, guys. And? What's the problem? No. A petrified oak slab. What is this? Here is a house made out of petrified oak slabs, okay? And your point? Wait, what? You're telling me that this oak slab is fireproof? And use, uses a pickaxe to mine it? That makes no sense. Why is that? Yeah, exactly. Why do these exist? Because in the alpha days of Minecraft, all slabs were like this. What? And when they were updated, they kept them in as a pretty much retextured stone slab. Interesting. I wonder if they still are in the game. So let's go for a scroll here, guys. We're going to the slabs. There's our oak slab. But look, there is a second oak slab here called a petrified oak slab. It is real. Here it is. Wait, okay. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a flint and steel. It's not... It's actually not burning. Wait, we've got the petrified oak slabs on this side. We're going to put the normal oak slabs on this side. Now, what I'm confused about is the fire isn't actually burning either of our wood slabs here. So maybe it's... Oh, oh! Ah, guys, look at this. Okay, the regular ones are, in fact, burning while the petrified ones stay exactly the same. Now, if I switch into survival here, guys, and just dig up one of these with an axe, fine. But if I dig up one of our petrified oak slabs, look at that guy. Look at how slow it is. It's not digging up at all. And now if I use an axe, a pickaxe, it actually does, in fact, work like stone. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Same speed. I'm guaranteed. Bang. It is, in fact, just a retextured stone slab. That's awesome. Now, for our next secret in today's video, guys, you're going to have to subscribe and watch the next video because that's all the time we've got for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.